Are you a Filipino citizen or a former Filipino citizen working or residing in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland? Are you considering or planning to retire or reside in the Philippines? If so, then this video is for you. Hello everyone. My name is Teresa. I hope that you are all doing well. My task is to discuss the ensuing topic for you. This video is created in response to the comment of Santipolo6713 posted in our video about the taxability of foreign pensions in the Philippines. Santipolo says, Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom so there is no need to mention it as well when referring to the UK. However, if you used Great Britain instead then, the correct mention would be to add Northern Ireland as it is not part of Great Britain. But, as you correctly refer to us as the United Kingdom, drop Northern Ireland as it is as included in the UK as of the other countries, England, Wales, and Scotland. Can I also say though that you are very biased toward the US? Because of military ties I get they are significant but, in devoting most of every video to them with a side note to others who retire there, you are being dismissive and borderline racist. Parts of Bohol have a fair German mix and yet, Central Europe gets barely any mention. If you wish your site to grow, be more inclusive. Thank you for your comment. This channel is open to constructive criticisms, and suggestions like yours are very much welcome. We just would like to say that there has never been an intention to favor or to discriminate against any nationality or citizenship in any of the videos posted in this channel. Some videos were made to answer specific questions from viewers and subscribers and discussions are usually tailored on the circumstances of the persons asking the question. Be that as it may, it is our desire that more people will learn something from every video that we create. If truth be told, we have been overwhelmed by the fact that our videos are now being watched in many countries. The performance of this channel has far exceeded our expectations and we are so elated that it has gained substantial viewership in Europe. And we are so grateful for that. Now, let's proceed to our topic. The Double Taxation Convention between the Philippines and the United Kingdom entered into force on January 22, 1978. It is effective in the Philippines from 1 January 1978 and in the UK from 1 April 1977 for corporation tax, income tax, and capital gains tax. The provisions that particularly deal with pensions are Articles 17 and 18. Article 17 states that, subject to the provisions of Article 18, pensions and other similar remuneration paid in consideration of past employment to a resident of a contracting state shall be taxable only in that state. It means that the tax cities or the place of taxation of pensions is the country of residence of the person receiving the pension. However, with respect to pensions that come from public funds, Article 18 of the Convention expressly provides that, Pensions paid out of public funds of the United Kingdom, or Northern Ireland, or of the funds of any local authority in the United Kingdom, to any individual in respect of services rendered to the Government of the United Kingdom, or Northern Ireland, or a local authority in the United Kingdom, in the discharge of functions of a governmental nature, shall be exempt from Philippine tax. It also provides that, Pensions paid out of public funds of the Philippines, or of the funds of any local authority thereof, to any individual in respect of services rendered to the government of the Philippines, or a local authority thereof, in the discharge of functions of a governmental nature, shall be exempt from United Kingdom tax. Under paragraph 5 of Article 18 however, pensions in respect of services rendered in connection with any trade or business carried on by a contracting state, or a political subdivision, or a local authority thereof, are taxable by the state where the person receiving the pension is a resident. As can be safely inferred from the quoted provisions, the UK pension received by a Filipino citizen or dual Filipino citizen residing in the Philippines may be taxed in the Philippines, unless such pension is paid by public funds. It is because of the general rule that pensions are taxed based on the residence of the person receiving the pension. In other words, the tax situs is based on the person's domicile. But if you are a UK citizen residing in the Philippines, your UK pension, Regardless of whether it is paid by public funds or not, it is considered as income from sources outside the Philippines, and therefore, it should not be subject to Philippine income tax. Remember that under the Philippine tax law, foreigners residing in the Philippines are taxable, only on their income from sources within the Philippines. 
This is where you should seriously consider whether you would want to become a dual Filipino citizen, or remain a foreigner and simply be a permanent resident in the Philippines. Let us know your thoughts or reactions about this topic by leaving a comment below. Please visit your lawyer's channel for more informational videos. And if you think that this channel can be of help in providing you with useful and relevant information, please feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you will get notified of our future videos. Stay safe.